I welcome you all to the fourth session of the seminar and this is the fourth day. Today we have four speakers. Uh, first one is uh, Sri Krishna Bararji and second one is Sri Kant Kallurkar. Then Dr. Pranay Dilip Abhang and Professor S.K. Kulkarni. So we start, uh, before we start our program, I invite Dr. Claudia from Brazil to introduce our first speaker, Krishna Bharat. Dr. Claudia. Namaste, everyone. So I would like to introduce for all, all of you, uh, Krishna Bharat. Krishna Bharat has been practicing Agni Hotra since 1990. He has done a Bachelor of Science Electronics and Diploma in Export Management. He is currently working as a partner at one of the leading tax, tax, tax adv advisory firm in India. He has visited Singapore, Thailand and China for Agni Hotra propagation work. He has delivered lectures on Agni Hotra at various schools, colleges, and public gatherings. He has also organized a mass Agni Hotra celebration program in various cities. He has traveled to many cities in India to promote the Agni Hotra message. Thank you. Dr. Claudia, now we invite uh, Krishna Bharatji to present his uh, lecture. Are you able to see my screen now, everyone? Yes. 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 Okay, great. So I think uh, first of all, you know, uh, good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all the participants. And it is a great privilege for me to present this uh, uh, conference, uh, the, my topic is Agni Hotra, a Vedic technique for healing, holistic health and happiness. And uh, I have uh, 8 to 10 pages which I will talk about. So when we uh, consider uh, the world around us, uh, we see that uh, everyone is aspiring to be happy on this planet. and wants to have good health, happiness, as well as, uh, you know, uh, everyone uh, to be happy when we are living on this planet. And on the alongside, we also see that world around us is full of, uh, you know, challenges, disturbances, as well as uh, the environment in which we are living uh, is uh, deadly polluted. And then how one can be happy uh, when there are so many challenges around us uh, like we have war hatred as well as crime around us and also there is a depleting uh, uh, health and other planet related issues and in this process this is one of the key question uh, to everyone uh, as we are also going through the pandemic so because of all this uh, pollution as well as uh, the health issues, uh, everyone has the uh, negative emotions as well as deep frustration and we see uh, lost in uh, when we are in the journey of this uh, on this planet. And obviously what is the solution is one of the key question which everyone is trying to uh, find the answer uh, to come out from this anxiety as well as health issues, what we are facing today. Now, at the end of the day, uh, we are living on the planet and the planet, when we uh, reside over here, so the planet is made up of five uh, ethers or the element. So we have uh, water, fire and other uh, things which we call this as Pancha Mahabhuta. And when we consider ourselves, so they when the planet is created uh, by the Almighty uh, along with the creation of uh, this planet, uh, the, the uh, basic knowledge what we 
gather or what we understand uh, is the vedic knowledge which is the uh, which is the most ancient knowledge and this knowledge has the key uh, for the eternal happiness and as we see uh, when we call ourselves uh, as human beings so we are jivatma or uh, there is a paramatma so paramatma is the one uh, he is the almighty who knows everything and anything and he is omnipresent while jivatma uh, we try to have the you know zeal of finding the knowledge and also try to uh, be uh, in the journey of finding the happiness and when we try to find this happiness so the jivatma and the jiv srushti uh, is also residing on this planet and there is a uh, when we see uh, it is sattva guna tamas guna and raja guna so these are the triguna visha vedaha is uh, you know uh, is one of the hemans in vedas so when we come to the uh, basic discipline so as a human being we have lots of you know variety of worships and we try to find out what we should be doing so today we are going to talk about agnihotra uh, is one of the basic form of yajna and its revelation or its originate origin comes from the vedic scriptures rugveda and as we know except fire everything around us is deadly polluted so what is the agnihotra or what is the fire worship uh, which is uh, called as agnihotra as we know uh, since uh, ancient days fire is regarded and worshiped uh, and respected among all the religions you take any religion fire has highest regard and uh, when we go back to the ancient Olymp olympic games we have seen that the uh, everyone was gathered under the fire mashal or the fire and that's how this agnihotra or the fire has the quality to build the relationship and establish the harmony uh, and uh, purify the environment around us where we are residing and what is the key to the eternal happiness to have the better environment and this pure purified environment will then bring the synergy as well as help us in building the confidence and also which will help us in getting the tranquility and which will lead for the good health and ultimate aim of the human life to have the eternal happiness now what is the agnihotra agnihotra is a basic form of yajna as i said who can do it anyone across the planet uh, can do it they and it is the one of the uh basic form of yajna which uh, you know can be done adopted by any nationality any person of any caste creed and religion and it has five disciplines uh, which needs to be adopted a copper pyramid uh, of specific shape dried cow dung cakes and sunrise sunset uh, timings and specific mantras when we want to perform this specific agnihotra uh, we have to offer uh, two pinchful of unbroken uncooked rice smeared with cow ghee and by chanting two vedic mantras this is the basic discipline now how we want to do it it has to be performed at exactly at sunrise and sunset uh, we have to create the fire exactly at 5 to 7 minutes before sunrise or sunset and for the preparation of fire we have to use dried cow dung cakes uh and apply uh, google or lobhan or bhimseni camphor to light the fire we can take the bath and exact pin point we have to chant two vedic mantras the sunrise mantra is like this suryaya swaha suryaya idam namama prajapataye swaha prajapataye idam namama so here by chanting this mantra we have to put the offering into the uh, well blazed fire and then keep quiet or meditate for 3 to 5 minutes 7 minutes as per availability and when we put this offering the specific uh, gases uh, during the fumigation process are evaluated or they are transmitted to the environment where we stay 
and these gases helps us in purifying the environment and it has been scientifically proved and this heal uh, these gases heals the atmosphere and ultimately it has a good impact on our human mind as well as body uh, and it helps us in getting the relaxation and also we find the peacefulness that's the uh, experience which we get and people in around uh, 80 countries or so uh, they have experienced these benefits what exactly it means it helps us in getting reduction in the stress it also builds the uh, immunity it has the uh, impact bacteriostatic impact it helps in concentration and overall it also has an impact uh, on the surroundings where we stay it builds the positivity it gives the tranquility and also uh, it has a great impact on the agriculture and that's how when we perform agnihotra in the morning the effect remains till evening so that means we have 12 hours cycle uh, uh, which has the effect for 12 hours in one offering then second offering at sunset we have another 12 hours offering so that means by adopting this uh, agnihotra process one can have heal healing environment or the cycle of environment purification uh, which continues 24 by 7 and that means when we perform agnihotra in india someone at another location in the country uh, is again performing the agnihotra and that means there is a cycle which continues of healing cycle around the planet by having this process of agnihotra practiced everywhere around the globe now what exactly it means then agnihotra helps us in having the physical well being uh, it has the uh, stress management emotional well being child health as well as alcohol and drug drug addiction these are the another scientific outcome of this process so in in a way uh, what we are talking over here is that this is one of the wholesome uh, technique which helps us in the healing of the atmosphere purification of the atmosphere then it also helps us in building the health and ultimately when it is having the peace of mind you have the tranquility and you you get to have the holistic health and happiness are the outcome of the practice of this process and and at the last this is the uh, you know detail where you will get the uh, material uh, to whom you can contact for the more details on the agnihotra and its uh, you know other nitty gritties about getting the material etc etc so i will you know stop over here and probably take some question and answer if at all there one uh, anyone who would like to have any question uh, to be you know answered because i know i have slightly tried to complete it uh, in a uh, slightly more better way or faster uh, to have then opportunity to take the question and answers because this uh, uh, is a conference and of course we will be sharing the presentation i have shared my email address also and i have myself uh, doing agnihotra for last 31 years and i have experienced uh, a lot of things i also uh, you know uh, with proud i can say that i have not been uh, you know hospitalized uh, during past uh, you know whatever life i am uh, uh, living uh, my i am now 51 years uh, 52 i will complete uh, in june uh, next year and of course i went through the pandemic uh, in second wave my whole family also was uh, you know found positive but uh, with god's grace as well as the performance and practice of agnihotra i i you know i am again in front of you uh, given uh, the lecture on agnihotra and there there are greater experiences uh, which you know we can share but i would love to take some question answer if at all anyone has any question and um, i know there are more learned speakers uh, which are you know sk uh, kulkarni as well as shri kalurkar they are equally you know experienced uh, uh, in uh, you know uh, in the fraternity of agnihotra 
I think there is one Vidya Sagar Garg has raised the hand. Please go ahead, sir, with your question. Uh, should this uh, Agni Hotra be done indoors or outdoors? Yeah, so practice of Agni Hotra, uh, you know, is open. It can be done indoor as well as outdoor. Now, uh, in India, we do it indoor because in many of the global places, uh, you know, there could be challenges and uh, where, you know, one can do it outdoor also. But it is preferably to be done indoor because where we stay uh, in, in a house or apartment or a home, uh, it is preferable to perform this uh, Agnihotra indoor as it is a, not only the process of purification of the environment, but it is also a process to surrender uh, se uh, self uh, unto the Almighty. And that means uh, we to do it with you know proper uh, dedication uh, as well as with bath in the morning, if it is possible uh, to take bath in the evening. So it is the process of, uh, you know, self purification, and, uh, purification of the environment. So answer is you can do it indoor as well as outdoor. And whenever we travel, we also carry the kit. We people who are doing Agni Hotra uh, as prescribed over here, sunrise and sunset, we carry the kit along with whenever we are traveling and we try to see we don't miss the sunrise or sunset. So are the also one oh, this answers your question. Yeah. Are the, I think you, you have a question. Please go ahead, ma'am. Yes, ma'am or sir. I'm I'm ma'am. Yes, sir, uh, Dr. Bharatji. Uh, since I am yeah. on this uh, webinar, uh, since I start, I I have found there are two main uh, school of thought. There is one with the two uh, mantras to do uh, Yag Agnihotra and the Vedic uh, Agnihotra we are aware of. I, I, I wanted to know uh, from where these two mantras has come to, to do the Agnihotra and why this difference between the two ways of doing Agnihotra. And, and suppose if I am performing... Uh, well, yes, and suppose yeah. if I am I am performing, Doctor G, if I am performing the Vedic Agnihot with the twenty four or sixteen mantras, uh, I have to start chanting the mantra before the sunrise. Uh, and and how how do I do it? Thank you, Doctor G. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I think you know, uh, RT uh, Ma'am has raised a uh, couple of questions. So whether there is a another Agnihotra. Uh, uh, which is prescribed uh, in the you know scripture or the uh, tradition. So uh, let me you know clarify the Agnihotra which we are referring. This is the Vedic Agnihotra uh, which has been rejuvenated by His Holiness uh, uh, Param Sadguru Shriji uh, from Akkal Court uh, Gajanan Maharaja. And today uh, there are people around the planet who are performing this two times Agnihotra which is pr prescribed. Uh, as per the Vedic uh, knowledge or Vedic uh, scriptures. Of course, uh, in between, this Agnihotra was, uh, uh, you know, uh, stopped uh, during the uh, Lord Buddha's avatara because people were not doing it in a way, the way it was prescribed in the uh, Vedic scriptures and uh, Lord Buddha's avatara, the Yajnas were stopped. And that's why we see that uh, the there is a Kalk or we call it as Kal Yuga. So where Kalk means uh, the pollution. And that's why, uh, again, uh, the another, uh, you know, uh, saint or another uh, personality who appeared in this, uh, you know, India, uh, who established, uh, re-established or regenerated uh, the process of two times Agnihotra. And there is also one more Agnihotra. Uh, we call it as Treta Agni Vistar, wherein there are five kundas and the per person who re retains these five uh, types of uh, uh, kundas, uh, wherein the, there is a requirement of maintaining 24 hours fire. So the, the requirements and the norms are stringent. So for the general person uh, who wish to, you know, uh, stay happy and practice the uh, as a routine, uh, these two types of uh, two uh, oblation Agnihotra has been prescribed uh, uh, basis the Vedic uh, knowledge and the Vedic scriptures. And that's why uh, we have uh, this difference. And of course, Maharshi Dayananda, when he appeared, uh, uh, since uh, to you know continue the practice of yajna, he allowed and he asked to do Agnihotra as per the convenience and uh, you know the the time uh, which was prevailing. 
now we have this agnihotra uh, with a timing of sunrise and sunset which has been prescribed uh, and this is again basis the vedic knowledge and the of course uh, uh, whatever base of this uh, lies into the vedic scripture uh, of two oblations at sunrise and sunset now last question which was asked uh, when to chant the mantras so exactly we have uh, apps uh, about the agnihotra timings and basis that timing we have to uh, perform exactly uh, the offering is to be offered exactly at that pin point so that means if we have uh, the timing of say 7 pi so we have to prepare the fire 5 to 7 minutes before of that and exactly at 7 pi whether it is sunrise or sunset we have to start the chanting of mantra like this if it is sunrise suryaya swaha suryaya idam namam when we say swaha we have to put the offering into the fire and complete the balance mantra second mantra is like this agna uh, prajapataye swaha prajapataye idam namam this is for sunrise and sunset we have another mantra agnaye swaha agnaye idam namam prajapataye swaha prajapataye idam namam so this is the discipline which is being followed Uh, around uh, you know more than 80 countries today on this planet and people has conducted large research and this is the methodology which is adopted today uh, by you know people who are adopting agnihotra as uh, prescribed by uh, you know uh, param sadguru shri ji and of course as we said tretagni vistar it has again uh, there are people in india uh, almost 60 plus families they are performing this 24 by 7 agnihotra we call this tetragdi vistar or they are called as uh, you know dikshit uh, with uh, uh, you know discipline uh, which they are following and they cannot uh, you know wear the stitched cloth they cannot wear you know they cannot do the job etc uh, and they are the only people who can participate as yajman uh, in the large yajnas like ashwamedh or jyotishtom agnishtom somayaga and we have uh, in our fraternity or in our agnihotra family uh, who is connected with akkal court there are uh, seven uh, uh, family members uh, in the one family at goa uh, uh, mahadev sakhari apte who is no more now uh, and his children they adopted so there are total seven such 24 by 7 agnihotras uh, there are many uh, around the country uh, in jalna or in uh, you know many part of the country so these are the people who has to live uh, 24 by 7 uh, take care of the fire and this is slightly difficult and which is not doable for uh, you know general uh, people or general public like us who are into job and the you know activities and that's why this uh, agnihotra of simplest form of two oblations so whenever we uh, just to give an example whenever we go to anyone's uh, house so the person if we are entering at his house so we as the person uh, who is uh, uh, you know guest at his place he will ask that you know please uh, eat two niwalas or do niwale khake jaiye in hindi so that means please you know eat at my place with you know two there is never ever said that three or five or seven and that is the significance which goes to the original vedic text that you know two oblations which we have to offer uh, to the almighty and when we give this two oblations uh, the uh, almighty who is in the form of fire uh, he is he gets uh, you know blessed or you know he uh, uh, he is uh, made santusht and that's how then you know uh, when he becomes happy he makes everyone happy and that's why uh, we also call the agni as a grahapati so without fire we cannot have any activities on this planet i think naran sir has raised the question hand sir please go ahead so i was just trying to know uh, the exact reference uh, in vedas and either of the i mean any one of the four vedas or their commentaries in upanishads or grah sutras or samritis where this procedure of two oblations in the morning and two oblations in the evening is prescribed yeah so uh, naran sir uh, this is you know in shatpad brahman granth as well as you know there are some other references because though i am not vedic scholar so i have you know uh, sk kulkarni 
who is the vedic scholar and of course uh, dr madan deshpande also so probably uh, they can you know throw some more lights uh, you know I, i am you know uh, very small uh, in terms of you know these uh, databases and you know my apologies for that but i have uh, sk kaka uh, who will probably you know provide uh, you know the clarity or answer to this question okay thank you sk kaka please if you want to answer yeah. or otherwise i have i know you are also there in the session so maybe we have two minutes yeah uh, yes sir uh, ravi sir uh, some more two more scholars they have raised their hands narendra uh, please. tiwari uh, please tiwari uh, sir go go ahead yeah madan desh pande colonel madan desh pande also want to say something uh, uh, doctor sir, sir yeah there is a paraskar gahya sutra paraskar gahya sutra it is clearly said that uh, tandule yor dagna suryay swaha prajapate swaha iti prata agnaye swaha prajapate swaha iti sayam iti aupasana homa vidihi very clearly it has been said what is the mantra you have to use rice you have to use ghee so this has been said in parasra gaya sutra you can also find uh, the meanings uh, some references in the vedas also which uh, probably sk kulkarni will tell you okay narendra dat tiwari ji there, there is a katha also there is one more katha in uh, one of the brahmanas which says that there are three people who are doing agrihotra one was doing with two ahuti one was doing with only one ahuti morning surya swa evening agna swa and there is a third brahmin who was doing with three ahutis in the morning and three ahutis in the evening and they say that one who was doing two prosper he also achieved the moksha or whatever the spiritual attainment so this this clearly shows that the high, highlighted importance of giving two out this is in brahman grantha yeah so i think shatapatha uh, brahman grantha shatapatha it is in shatapatha yeah so uh, shatapatha <coughs> sir and pastor i uh, just for my information and for my knowledge i want to have specific reference of the chapter or mantras or sutta etc somebody can mail to somebody can mail it to we will send to mr uh, uh, ravi prakash sir okay sir thank you so okay, much no yes, problem no problem yeah i think narendra dat tiwari if you have question please yeah. you can raise yeah yeah uh, first i would like to clear this one about anigotra Uh, as uh, it was mentioned by Professor Madan Ji, that is O Parshan Homa is Griya Sutra from Griya Sutra. It is not a Vedic Agni Hotra, and Agni Hotra uh, you may get references from many South Sutras like Katyayana South Sutra, Apastamba South Sutra, Vaudhayana South Sutra. These all. Shot Sutra have the references clearly mentioned about Agni Hotra. Aupashan Hum is a kind of Agni Hotra, but not the Agni Hotra exactly, which is counted in the Vedic rituals. Uh, and another, my question was. Uh, to I, as far I'm concerned, the, and I firmly believe there cannot be a better Upasana than Agni Hotra. So it is also yeah. known as Upasana. Okay. Upasana is being near the God because I can tell you, sir, the Suryoda and Suryasta are known as Tirtha. Tirtha doesn't mean water. That means one we can reach to the God. That is the smallest bridge. So Master Parshusoma, in that Agnihotra is mentioned. That Agnihotra uh, is from. You may get these uh, references or details. From Kastanya Shot Sutra, Apastamba Shot Sutra, Bhodhaya Shot Sutra. Actually, you are right, but Aupasan is not the directly uh, Vedic uh, rituals. Maybe, sir. I, I, maybe. So, so maybe, uh, uh, Doctor Kaka, uh, let uh, you know if S K Kaka can speak something. Or other, in any case, he has. No, no. I think uh, uh, I think he will be speaking. That he will yes, yes, yes. over there. We are. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Second, my time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
then sorry. at the end then at the end we will discuss i will also comment over it no problem sorry, my question so, was question uh, barar ji sorry my question uh, is uh, i would i would like to put my question yeah uh, it's just uh, uh, as you mentioned as we know that uh, in the morning we say suryaya namaswaha prayapate swaha namaha and in the evening agneshwa so why it is in the agni agneshwaha why it is agneshwaha i would uh, i would like to know right, right. why it is agneshwaha so so the next speaker they are yeah. from the same school he will ask yes yeah. yes yeah. thank you yeah thank yes you. yes thank you. Yes. Okay. So now we are going to end uh, uh, this uh, session, and I thank you, Krishna Barad, for giving a very uh, uh, concise and brief lecture. And he also told uh, the very concise and brief method of doing Agni Hotra. If somebody doesn't have any time, he can go for this a uh, uh, small or a short system of Agni Hotra that is known as Aupasan Vidhi. Uh, described in Griya Sutras. So I thank you.